This video is just going to be a quick introduction to Palette Kit, and uh, it's just going to show you what it does and why it was made. Uh, this was something that was posted uh, just randomly via Twitter the last uh, over the last couple days, and uh, folks seem to really like what they're seeing, but they don't uh, they don't really know how to use it. So this uh, quick little video will show you the details. So first of all, you can find it in the usual place on GitHub under the user Prime31. And it's uh, pretty basic, not too much to it. It's just going to be a palette kit folder, which contains the files for it here. So what exactly is palette kit? Well, it was actually made uh, to work with ProBuilder. ProBuilder is a really cool tool for gray box and your layout, your levels, and uh, in these days it's super powerful. So it's, you can even take it further than just uh, gray box and levels and do all kinds of cool stuff with it. But uh, that's outside the scope of this video. We're just going to be showing Palette Kit. So by default, this is what ProBuilder gives you. So I'll just reset these colors here. So ProBuilder gives you this little vertex colors windows that floats over here, and whatever you have selected, you can just click a button and it sets the face color and that's about the, all there is to it right there so it's uh, it, it only gives you 10 colors so you can't really do much more with it can't import or anything so this is where palette kit was made for it was it was actually designed to come out to be a better solution for dealing with vertex coloring in pro builder and uh, I mean, just look at these buttons. You can see the colors aren't even represented properly in these buttons. Like, this looks gray. It's really white. But that's it. We don't need to ever look at that again. So that's where Palette Kit was born from. It was made generically, though. And uh, it's important because if, if you ever have a need in a different project that's not using ProBuilder to import and manage palettes, then Palette Kit's an awesome tool. It lets you import uh, Photoshop swatches, the ACO or ASE files. And uh, we'll show you on a website where you can get those. But here's where you find it. So it's in Tools, Pro Builder, Vertex Colors, and Color Palette Window. So this pops up right here, and we can just dock the window somewhere useful. And by default, we don't really we don't have any palettes, and we don't have anything in here. So let's go ahead and add a new palette. So you can give your palettes names, like lots of purple, and add colors to it. And if you notice over here, this is a this is our little in scene view palette uh, or color picker, and this will actually update live as we add and remove colors. So we can just like kind of click around in here, and you'll see it just changes on the fly. Once we have everything the way we like it, you just click save changes. So let's just say um you had a ASC or an ACO file. So I happen to have one sitting on my desktop. So let's just try this new palette from Swatch. So we go over here. We click it and there we go. So it imports all the colors from that ACO file and it gives it a name of whatever the file name was. So now we can save these changes. And if we want to actually, you notice the other palette is still loaded here. That's because we didn't actually load this one. So we click load and now we have this fancy new palette. So it works just like Pro Builders. So if you just select your faces and then click these you'll see that it just logs the color. And uh, the reason for that is uh, the package that's on GitHub is uh, has the two ProBuilder lines commented out. And the reason for that is uh, that way people can just download the project and use it as is. And instead of actually setting the vertex color, it's, uh, it's just going to dump this log. And the reason for that is so you can just double click it and it'll launch your favorite text editor and it'll open right up to the line that you need to modify, which is right here. The two uh, two lines in this project that have ProBuilder references are commented with ProBuilder reference. So we swap this by just uncommenting the line, and we don't need to log it anymore. We come back over here, and once we are refreshed, you'll see that that jumped back, and that's because in the editor, if we modify the actual scene view palette file it just reloads it can't keep state between those it uh, it does keep state if you just happen to have it uh, here and modify something else and and save it but no need to demonstrate that at the moment uh, okay so over here we can now select our face and 
you can see it sets the face color just like it does with the Pro Builder tools. All right, so let's just, uh, what I have over here is just, uh, I took an image and I stuck it in Color Explorer and it lets you uh, just upload and it picks colors out of the image. So I'm gonna just choose 50 in here and extract some colors. And so there's our palette and it's ready to go. So we can uh, we can replace the current palette with these and here's a current palette. and on the actual palette page is where we can export. So you can see we can export ASCs or ACOs. And we'll just do an export and we get uh, it's lots of greens in there. So let's call it greenies. And we go back over here now and we can import this palette. Import greeny and sure enough, there's all our colors. Let's load them up and there we go. Ready to start using. And of course, don't forget to save your changes. So you can also hand edit these. Uh, if you want it to actually just go in here, you can just change the colors. And you notice over here, it's it's uh, updating in real time. And you know, as you expect, the X removes them, so you can remove colors if you don't need them. And then just make sure you click save when you're done. And that's really it. It's all there is to Palette Kit. It's uh, Palette Management Importing, pretty handy tool, especially if you use Pro Builder. Thanks for watching.